Los Angeles DA George Gascon's soft on crime agenda could cost him his seat as, uh, as he faces tough questions during a heated debate last week. My child was killed by a gang member, and you had more sympathy for that gang member than my child who was killed in front of my home. Can you explain to me? Because I've been looking for you for four years. I'm brokenhearted for your loss. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We as a country and we as a community have been doing the same thing for generations. Yeah, that heartbroken mother, our next guest, confronting Gascon after her son, Christopher Beasley, was fatally shot by a gang member in Los Angeles when he was just 25 years old. Emma Rivas joins us now. Emma, thank you so much for joining us. When he looks at you and says, I'm, I'm heartbroken for your loss, and then turns and starts with a talking point, how does that make you feel? Um... I'm really upset with, with what's going on with George Gascon. He straight up lied to the public. Um, he said that he didn't order the prosecutors to take 61 directives off the table. Uh, I joined the recall twice. I, I tried to call this man to speak to a mother who lost a child to a gang member, to a gang, a gang member killed my kid in front of my home. Uh, my children was, there was two of my children that were shot by uh, this gang member. And Gascon took office, and as soon as he took office, he ordered all prosecutors to take the, uh, the enhancements off the table, and that affected my case. So and he... uh, under Jackie Lacey, I have the gun enhancement, and I have the um, um, gang member. That's 10 years for each enhancement, and that's very important in, in, in a trial for murder. It's not like this guy stole the bottle of beer. Yeah. Um, this guy killed somebody. No, and that's exactly right. This is a, a cold-blooded killer who deserves to be in jail, in my opinion, for the rest of his life. And here's a DA that actively seeks to make a sentence less. And then he lectures you and others there about what insanity is. It seems to me that insanity is allowing criminals to go free. That is right. And that we cannot have that kind of progressive um, uh, DA in office. This is uh, the first time in history uh, 180 years that we've ever had a, a DA that has a heart for criminals and not a heart for the victims. There are parents that lost their children to murders that are 16, 17 years old and getting five years in jail. Where's the justice in this? And he sits there smiling and laughing and and and, and he just doesn't care. He's a he's a he's not fit to be a DA, and his assistant is a, a defense attorney. How, how did we get to this? And well, why, is, why is the people realizing this man is no good for L.A.? He already ruined San Francisco, and now he's doing the same thing in Los Angeles County. You know, we can't understand the heartache you've gone through. I mean, losing a child is, is the worst tragedy anyone could go through. Um, but just look at what other people in L.A. are dealing with. L.A. crime stats show that robberies are up 12 percent. Shootings are up 29 percent. It seems like if his policies worked at all, these stats wouldn't exist. Well, according to D.A. George Gascon, we're living in a happy land. There's no crime. Everything's okie dokie. It is the opposite of what he's he's saying. We are in trouble right now. There's so many smashing grabs because there is no consequences to their action because of George Gascon. Murder has dropped because other crimes are happening, and a lot of crimes are not being reported because they don't go to jail. Remember, stats go down when people don't go to jail. Emma, and right now, we have a DA and zero bail, too. Emma Rivas, listen, uh, there aren't words to, uh, to console you over what you've been through, but know that we uh, love you, we pray for you, we remember your son, and we thank you so oh. much for speaking out. Can I say one more thing? Yes, ma'am. Um, Jonathan Hatami would be the best option for us in L.A. County. Thank you for having me. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you.